Next up, we got Tristan Grant. Give it up for Tristan Grant. Thank you, everybody. How y'all doing? Good. Did you have a good New Year's? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Make a New Year's resolution? Yeah. Because I made one. Uh, I want to learn how to jerk off with my left hand better. I think that I think I can do it if I really set my mind to it because my dick's starting to lean to the right and that is unacceptable. I've been straight as an arrow my whole life and I'm not, not going to go in sideways anytime soon. Uh, no, it's, it's been getting out of hand lately. Uh, <laughs> So, I don't know what you guys do when you jerk off, but, <laughs> you know, sometimes I'm lazy and I like, you know, I like jerking off lying on my back, right? And so when I jerk off lying on my back, because I'm so lazy, I also don't want to take off all my clothes, you know, because then what if you get caught? You can't put on all your clothes super fast. So what I do is I pull my pants down and then I, I hold my shirt up with, with my chin, like this. <laughs> And the reason that you do that is because is because when you're lying on your back, you expect to come onto your stomach, and I don't want cum to get on my shirt, so I have to hold it with my chin. And then sometimes a horrible thing happens when I finish, and I realize that I didn't bring anything to clean it up with. There's no towel, no Kleenex, nothing. So now I have to go get something to clean up with, but I still don't want to ruin my clothes. And I can't pull up my pants because my hands are all coming. So what happens is, what happens is, I'm holding my shirt and my pants are around my ankles and my hands are up here and I'm just walking through the night, just through the house and my belt is dragging on the tile floor and it sounds like chains, like I'm a prisoner. Like da da ha da. Or you know, like I'm Marley from A Christmas Carol, like Scrooge! <laughs> um, and then my worst fear is that like one of those times I'm just gonna be like in that position, just walking through the darkness, and then like my dad's gonna flick on the light, like I'm just gonna be like Scrooge! Uh, so yeah, um, what else do I get here? Um, so obviously, needless to say, I need a girlfriend. Um, uh, cause, you know, I, I just, I'm terrible with women. I, I, I suck dick with girls. I mean, I don't suck dick with them. I, you know, I, we do it, they do it separately. I mean, I'm not there. I mean, hopefully I'm there. I'm just not, I'm not feeling as much as they are. You know, not putting in the effort. <laughs> um, uh, so, uh, let's see. I heard once that uh, that uh, God created people in His image, and I I, uh, I I don't think that's true. I think I think only good-looking, really beautiful people were created by Him. I think the rest of us were created by somebody else. <laughs> Plus, I never understood that because there's men and women. So, which one was God, if we're in his image? How does that make sense? Because, like, personally, I think God's a woman. That's, that's what I think. I, I, that's just what I believe. But I think she used to be a man. <laughs> and then, and then he, he started to feel different about himself, and he realized that's not who he was, and he transitioned. And he found who he was. I guess she, he was always a woman. I mean, he didn't exist, but, you know. <laughs> um, wouldn't it be funny if you went to heaven and it was, like, right as God was transitioning? So she was, like, kind of overselling it, you know, like, like, welcome to heaven, boy, I just don't have to stay up my ass. And you're like, you're God? And she's like, God ass. <laughs> uh, so uh, I spent my New Year's in, um, in Disneyland. And uh, I'm at Disneyland with my, with my family, and I get on the Cars ride with my little brother, and we're sitting, 
uh, getting ready to go, buckling in our seatbelts, and then a grandma was there with her grandchildren, but they split her up from her grandchildren. And so they put the grandchildren in one car, and the grandma got to sit next to me and my brother. And so she sits down next to us in the hollowed out Lightning McQueen, and she, right before the ride takes off, she whispers to me and my brother, she goes, if I say the N-word, you don't say nothing. <laughs> now first of all, there was no black people on the ride. So apparently she just says this when she gets scared. So apparently the Haunted Mansion must be a hoot with Grandma. Anyways, that's it for me. My name's Tristan Grant.